What was that noise? What happened to Bob? Hey there, Erebin here again with a patch day video covering the new buff for the Diligence Counter Sniper. A weapon that was so horrendous before its buff, I'd probably taken it to a mission exactly once before. Keep in mind, as I go through my thoughts on this weapon, all the data and playtime on the gun that was recorded was on difficulty 9 only, as it's the only difficulty I play on. So these experiences and opinions will be based solely on the game's highest difficulty. So, how much better is it now? Let's talk about it. The Diligence Counter Sniper, which I will be simply referring to from now on as the CS, out of simplicity, is a DMR now packing medium penetration instead of light penetration like its counterpart, a change that has been all but demanded by the community since the very first week of the game, by myself included. It sports a relatively ugly optic similar to the anti-material rifle, if not exactly the same, with the ability to zoom in just as far as the aim at can, which, although is quite ugly to look at, is probably one of the best parts about this weapon, as it allows you to engage accurately from a distance not common in other top-running primaries against the automatons. So this, despite the bad ergonomics on the gun causing it to sway slower than the aim at, but faster than the MG43, is overall a positive. The magazine is also the same underwhelming size as the top bot crusher, the Scorcher, but having mained the Scorcher for so long and being used to this kind of ammo economy, this did not feel bad for me or impact how I felt about the gun in a significant way. The recoil is also surprisingly handleable, with less stopping power than the Jar 5 but better fire rate. I was not disappointed in the handling any other time than during close quarters engagements where the gun does indeed struggle. A final technical aspect to cover here is how surprisingly quiet this gun is, as it's not uncommon for me to be able to engage groups of guards at outposts from beyond 30 meters and receive absolutely no reaction from them whatsoever, as long as I hit my shots to take out the light bots instantly. This gave me a reasonable amount of utility in my ability to pick off guards at outposts for the purpose of stealth gameplay. Granted, the Plasma Scorcher can do this exact same trick with relatively similar results at the same ranges, this is still again an asset for those that do not have the Scorcher yet. Now that the technical aspects are out of the way, let's talk about the all-important damage breakpoints. There are unfortunately not a huge amount of targets the Counter Sniper is effective against when it comes to the Automatons, although it is effective against the most important ones. As while it now says it is medium penetration, through testing I revealed this new penetration value sits only right above light penetration and below the Senator's level of medium penetration. This became apparent when testing against the plate between the Strider's legs, as shots from the Diligence would bounce entirely while the Senator did not. It could, however, still deal gray damage, grays being 50% damage to the joints. Faced with Striders, it's a safe bet you should swap your support weapon or Senator to handle them. Against the light bots, the CS was able to perform as no surprise one-shot kills to the head for all targets for the most part with some difficult to explain non-fatal outliers in between. This is followed up by the very comfortable one-shot body shot kills it was able to pull off against any of the light bots not outfitted in a medium breastplate, those taking two shots to bring down to the torso instead. When it comes to Berserkers, the penetration value manages to get red hits against the pelvis, which means 80% more damage is being dealt, actually resulting in a pretty decent TTK here. I was pleasantly surprised with this, so aim for their lug nuts. Ah yes, the Devastators, the most important target in the Automaton's arsenal. The CS with its penetration buff is a clean two headshot kill against both heavy and rocket Devastators. However, this is all or nothing, as hits to their chest plates result in gray hits, dealing reduced damage. The health pool is also separate between the head and body, meaning unless you manage to put two in their face plate, a mag dump is very unlikely to bring them down. This is however not a death sentence for the weapon, as the optic facilitates headshots quite well. This makes the CS a very rewarding weapon to utilize against the majority of the automatons, all bite, with notably more difficulty than if you had acquired the Scorcher. The TTK is, however, notably lower with the CS when landing those headshots than the Scorcher, should you have the breathing room and accuracy to make them happen. The CS is unfortunately completely ineffective against the new gunships, unable to penetrate their seemingly high medium armor. I say this because the anti-material rifle with its medium penetration is able to damage these ships, but only barely, making it highly likely the CS is at a low grade on the medium penetration scale, likely a 5. This in turn also means the CS is ineffective against the faceplates of hulks, and deals just gray hits to the backs of both the tank and cannon turrets in the heatsink although it still seems to trigger red hits against hulks, at the very least when hitting their heatsink. Oh right, moving on to the terminated section of the video. Hmm. Don't. 
No, really. I don't want to waste your time running through the details of why you shouldn't bring a rather cumbersome DMR with 15 bullets to the Terminids. I'm sure you can see why that isn't ideal, so let's just say it's not great for them and leave it at that, shall we? Despite these would-be shortcomings in targets the weapon is effective against, there are not exactly many weapons able to keep up with the Plasma Scorcher in this regard as is, so this ends up being pretty okay overall. My time with the Counter Sniper was enjoyable, and I will likely utilize the gun again for fun over the course of the next week or so just to mix things up, as the headshots are quite satisfying. And the sound profile is reasonably quiet for the style of gameplay I enjoy. Picking off targets from afar is definitely its specialty, as at further ranges, it does result in faster TTKs than the Scorcher will on average be capable of. This leaves me able to solidly recommend this weapon with its new buff to those that enjoy the more methodical DMR playstyle that are able to pull off the headshots and enjoy having a variable optic, as well as to those who simply cannot get their hands on the Scorcher yet, as the Scorcher does still outpace this weapon in many aspects. That's going to do it for my breakdown of the Diligence Counter Sniper, a weapon I would have never touched again before today now buffed into a reasonably enjoyable and comfortable position in the space of Helldivers 2. I do very much hope you found this short video helpful. Thank you for watching till the end, and have a wonderful day. See ya! And now, another helpful tip from General Brash. Thanks to Era Vin, we now have a better understanding of our R&D department's recent renovations to the Counter Sniper. For his tireless efforts, I am ordering all active Helldivers to like, comment, and subscribe to his channel. If you do not comply with this new major order, our Plasma Scorcher may be next on Arrowhead's hit list. Brash tactics! Use them or die trying! <laughs>